our biggest mistakes in trucking. Oh, oh, this is gonna be crazy. My biggest mistake in trucking, I think, I couldn't put that into like, you know, one thing. You know, I've made so many, I've made a, you know, a lot of people won't talk about the mistakes they've made in trucking, but I'm the type of person I will, I'll tell you. And that, I think that's what's have separated my um, career in trucking and, and or on YouTube is that I've always been 100% honest of what I've messed up on. And when I mess up or if something goes wrong, I'll do a live feed about it. Uh, so we'll list some. One of my mistakes in trucking, one of my most costly mistakes in trucking was leaving Prime Inc. Stop training and leaving Prime Inc. was one of the most expensive things that I've never had anything in my life cost that much money. You know, I, when I when I left Prime, I had I had twenty thirty thousand dollars, twenty six thousand dollars in credit, probably more than that that was trying to be given to me. But what I actually took, and I lost all of that money in a year, all of it. I my 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 credit card was maxed, and I had a thousand dollars left when. Dirty Red finally crapped out for the last time, and um, I got Karen, which was my white Kimworth. That will probably be the most expensive mistake that I made in trucking. I, I uh, uh, second would be buying Dirty Red. Dirty Red was the most problematic truck I've ever witnessed in, in life like it just it just it was almost like the truck was in complete cahoots <laughs> with the dealership and shop and it was going to go out on me no matter what i did bro it was just the most exp it, everything okay let's start from the beginning when i got dirty red i had to change all the rubber that's and when I say all the rubber, I don't mean like just the tires, which was $6,700 to change all those tires out. I had to change all the tires, all the hoses, all the belts. Anything that had rubber on it had to come off of the truck. It just went out at all different times. And those different times that it went out, I lost loads and lost money and had to get a telly and had to pay for Ubers and had to pay for food. It just, it was, I don't... I, <laughs> It was a. It just cost so much money. The 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 the, the def went out on that truck four or five times, and they were nothing less than three thousand dollars stops. One of the stops was eleven grand for the def. It it added up yourself. I don't you know, the live feeds are there. That are not something that it's like oh you know he making it up. I went live every time that thing went out. There's a complete documentation of it every single time the truck went out. Me and Lo would just go live immediately when it would go out. Um, it, it it drained me, dude. It, I mean, it drained me, bro. Because I would not gross and have to pay that truck note with a credit transfer. So I would have to take the $1,300 out of off the credit card and transfer it to the thing because I haven't ran in two weeks because they don't care. They want their money. Thank you, LRM. And there was a rumor, there was a rumor about that, um, about that truck that, oh, there was, there was uh, no oil in it. Dude, Prime keeps these trucks. That truck was, when you, when you power only for Prime, they take care of the truck like it's their truck. So there's an impossibility that there was no oil going on in that truck. So and that was one of these 
guys, a douche that no one even knows who is no more. I have no reason to say his name because it's irrelevant, but he was like, oh, I heard that, you know, there was no oil in it. Well, if there's problems with the truck, like the turbo going out, you'll spit all of the oil out of the turbo. And when, by the time it gets there, it'll like there's no oil in it. You don't trust me? Ask Mary to the miles. Same thing happened to their brand new Volvo. It, it happens, dude. It happens. So I'm not saying that's exactly what happened, but it, I've never, I've been driving for seven, eight years, dude. I've never had an engine go out. Ever. So all of a sudden, I just forget that when I drive that truck. Dude, kill yourself. Um, that was one. The second most, um, the biggest mistake I've ever made in trucking was thinking that, um, the, the people out here are, are friends and, and listen, bro, they're not, they're not friends. They're not your friends at all. You don't know these people. You do not know these people. That's the next costly thing is having friends in trucking. If I could do trucking over, I would make not one friend, not one, none of them. I would have no friends. I, I, I would. That was the, one of the most um, it didn't cost me a lot of money, even though I did give people money. <laughs> know it. <laughs> I did give people money and yeah, yeah. Cash App keeps the transfers on me, so watch yourself. But um, I, 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 I did give people money. It cost me money. I did spend money on people. But it was the I was the, the naive belief that we were actually friends, dude. And that's something you need to know. When you leave your home and you come onto the road and you're meeting people at these orientations, these trainings, these jobs... And then you end up, let's say you do get on YouTube like I did, and then people want to know. These people do not know you. They're not your friends, bro. You think they are, but they're not. Because friends don't let friends drive drunk, like I'm going to tell you. These are not your friends. That I, I couldn't convey. Every time a new YouTuber talks to me, the first thing I tell them is, Stay to yourself. Don't, don't make friends. Do not click up. Do not make friends. None of that. You can collab, but that's what it is. Once the collab is done, don't have them calling your phone and trying to be cool with you and calling you brother and all that. that that's crap. It's all game. Dude. None of these people are friends. None of them like you. So just know that before you jump on the bus to go to training. Your friends are at home that you've known your whole life. These people, you call them truck buddies. That's it. Yeah, so that I think another the biggest thing I've ever did was 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 think one of the biggest things I ever did was think that people actually were friends and cared about me and they don't. Um except for I mean, I feel like Chris is a real friend. I really do. Like he's proven that over and over. But other than Chris and I say Chris Lowe and maybe Mo 804. You know, not even to get into naming, just 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 as as a as a simple blanket statement, these people aren't your friends, dude. Know it and understand it. Um any other mistakes? Mm. Trying to be in relationships. You know, this, I feel like this job is just not made for it. I feel that way. I really, I really do. I feel that way. Now, if people do it and more power to them. I'm not, I'm no one to hate on nobody, but I just feel like, you know, it's, um, it's a rough deal, dude. And if you're going to go into it and try to keep a relationship going, doing this, I wish you the best, but it is, it is no joke. It's not easy. It's not easy. So that's another mistake playing around with that. You know, just tell them, look, man, I'm trying to beat. <laughs> and that's it. When I'm in town, can I beat? That's a fact, though. Don't don't, don't play with people's emotions and act like you could be there. Because you're not going to be there, dude. That's a fact. You're not home. You're gone. You've already left. 
So, you know, you do it that way, you gonna do you do what you do with on the one with that one. So that's a personal preference, I think. For me, I'm not feeling the relationship thing. Um another mistake is uh um leasing before you're ready. Leasing before you're ready is probably the most common mistake in drugging. Leasing before you're ready. Sometimes you're just not ready. You're not you're not ready. You're not ready to deal with the taxes. You're not ready to deal with the LLC. You're not ready to deal with the breakdowns. You're not ready to deal with the money management. You just not do. You just not. You're 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 not ready, man. Leasing before you're ready, I think, is the most prevalent mistake in the game. I really do feel that way. And going down mountains at 70 miles an hour and thinking that makes you tough. That's another one because that one will kill you. But leasing before you're ready, man. <laughs> leasing is no joke. As he said, it's strictly for live ones, not for freshmen. If you ain't got the clientele, say no. Because <laughs> the mega carrier going with their money race, Lee else no. Follow these rules, you have more bread to break up. If not, 24 years on the wake up. Slug at your temple, watch your friends shake up. That's a fact, dog. These are God, this is the gospel. If you're not ready, don't do it. Don't do it because it's cool. Don't do it because a YouTuber says you should do it. Don't do it because none of that. Because of you. the truth of the matter is, YouTubers don't know you. You know, they don't know if you can handle an LLC and, and getting three, four, five, six thousand dollars in a week. If you're going to manage it right, or are you just going to ball out? You know, they don't know that. They just know that if you do this, you make more money. But this is another thing, too. More money isn't always good. Especially if you got some issues. I've watched leasing money ruin people, dude. It goes to their head. They become arrogant. Their vices get bigger. Their womenizing get bigger. It, if you're not ready for that, dude, don't do it. Sometimes you not being able to make a certain amount of money is is Vanhala, God, Buddha, uh, Ishbu, Mohammed, whoever you pray to is trying to stop you from spiraling out of control because maybe you're not ready for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I believe. More money isn't always better. And that's a fact, though. Daily business. Um, yeah, I think that's that's the main mistakes. Um, buying a car. Is a mistake. I don't think I needed it for a credit venture, but in the grand scheme, you don't need one. Dude, I haven't. I've seen my F one fifty maybe five times. <laughs> I'm paying six eight hundred. I'm paying six hundred eighty three dollars a month for the thing. Like I've seen it maybe five times. I've probably just driven it four times. So, yeah, if you're oh, I'm get I'm gonna get the car I want for what? You're not gonna see it. Why? Just don't get a car, bro. And if you do get a $2,500 cash car, you can get a Honda Accord for $2,500, dog, and leave it anywhere you want and have liability insurance on it. Don't come out here and get a $1,300 car note or something stupid. Don't do that. that, that that's a mistake there. I'm just trying to give you all the joints you can jump, you can duck, man. You write it down, you know. Um, getting an apartment, major mistake. I did that. I'm still paying an apartment now. I haven't seen it in four months. It just, I sh I, I, my initial thought process is not to have one, but I was, it, there's other things involved in that that I was planning on doing, and then things fell weird, and I just didn't want to be around people no more, so now I'm not even doing that thing, so I wasted the money on that. That's That apartment is it's a waste of money. I shouldn't have got it. So just, just I mean, if you're going to be OTR, have no place to stay. Now, if you're someone with kids, this may not apply to you. So, you know, whatever. But it, uh, it, it, it is what it is. Um, I, I can't think of nothing else to warn you of. You know, 
I can't think of nothing else to warn you of, but but just study. You hear me? Study. Study constantly. Documentaries, tutorials. Teach yourself something other than trucking. Because you may not see it now, but you will be tired of this. You know, that's being tired of doing this job is something I fight with. You know, I fight with it. Whereas, like, I just don't want to do this no more. You, you feel me? I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to drive anymore. You know, and it's something that I can't. You know. You know, I love. I love the company I work for. I really do. But it's just in me. It's just I. Sometimes I feel like I'm just over it. I've done it. I've been to every state thirty times. Dude, there's nothing else new to see around the corner. I want to do something else. And um. Teaching myself something else is a, is a way for me, is an out. You need to study, bro. If you're driving down the street just entertaining yourself all day, you're a douche, number one. Number two, you're going to regret that. Find some, learning something else and do that. Learn. You can learn the stock market. You can learn anything. Find something else to learn other than this. Because the truth of the matter of it is, and you probably don't want to hear this, but truckers usually die broke and sick. That's the future of a trucker. That, that, that is what it is. I know older, sick, and broke truckers. I know them. You know, I know them, and that's the fact. And, 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 and to see them in there going into their 60s, and this is the only thing they know how to do, it is sad, bro. It's sad, dude. Why don't you go do something else, man? I'm too old to be doing that. Nothing to do this. They just drive until they take their medical license, and once they take their medical card, they have no way to make money. None. Now they're diabetic. You know, stroked a few times, barely getting disability. They're, they're getting you know disabilities like eight hundred dollars a month, bro. When you're used to seeing two, three, four in a week, that's sad, dude. Learn another craft bro learn something else please you if you're about to get in the truck and the first thing you need to think of is find a find a minor look at trucking as your major and you need a minor you need one now not later you need one as fast as possible pick something whether it be stocks real estate photography videography whatever you're gonna find bro do it and and just consume that content. YouTube got tutorials all day. There's something on um online called a uh, 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 it's like a uh, skill sharing. It's like skillsharing.com, and it's just people teaching you how to do stuff. Learn something, bro. Don't just drive and listen to Jigab listen to Jigaboo truckers talk on YouTube telling you a whole bunch of nothing about nothing because of nothing. Learn something. That would be the biggest advice I can give anyone. You're a trucker now, yeah, I'm a trucker now. What do you think I should do? Learn something else. Because once they realize you're just a career trucker, that's just gonna drive because they would, this is what they own. The trucking company just wants you to drive until you die. You know, that's the only way they make money off of you. You stand. Learn something else. Because if this is the only thing you know, they got you. And you're going to drive, you're going to get sick, and you're going to die broke and sick. Look up where most truckers end up at the end. They end up sick and broke. And they die early. Truckers die in their 50s, bro. Look at, look up the numbers. It's a fact. Those trucking browns, dig it down, but I'm just telling you the truth. Go to my Instagram, at Trucker Brown. I'm out of 530. Thank you.